still a lot of people on Reddit and the forums and Discord um, having issues with setting up their save game. And so I think it's a good uh, exercise in going in and doing this. And so let's go ahead and let's click on new game here. I'm going to let it do a, a random world seed. Um, I like the seed we had, but it has changed. So game mode, I'm going to do career. Um, I'm going to come in and check my outposts here. I want to start in the New South area. I'm not opposed to where it had a starting, but um, I kind of want to double check and make sure we get a good spot. Large industrial docks, multiple boat workbenches. So I kind of would like a multifunction. Access to the launch site, beachside port with a large hangar, and a view of the salt flats. So I think this is probably potentially where we're going to go just because it has the dock and a hangar. That has two rail workbenches. JSI dock is just a dock. Uh, train yard situated. And then large train maintenance. So I think we're going to go here. Um, this is going to give us the, uh, the best opportunity to have a hangar. It's a little bit further away than I'd like, but um, you know, we kind of need to do that. So I'm going to leave search and destroy DLC selected. I'm going to leave industrial frontier selected. Then I'm going to go to enable add-ons. Um, it seems like a lot of people are having issues with this. And so you really want to come in here and anywhere you see a cog, that means you can click on it and it gives you options. All right, so this is where a lot of people kind of fall down on this. Um, one of the, I'll show you one of the most, um, you know, consequent, consequential ones people have. So AI path, stay on. Again, if it has a cog, click on it as well brings up options so you can change your default AI aircraft count so if you're having some performance issues you can drag that down reduce AI aircraft default AI again gives us AI count see um, there's no cog here so if I click on it I don't get any option so we'll leave Arctic missions default building missions um, those will stay on I like those default cargo containers absolutely default creatures let's click on that Base animal spawn chance. So it's all the way up to one. That's fine. I have a beast PC and I'm, I'm pretty much playing by myself. So I don't have to worry about that. If you were going to do multiplayer, you may want to drag that down. So you're not having as much uh, performance loss. Default delivery zone stays on. Default dock bollard stays on. Default elevators. I'm not sure how much performance this causes. I tend to shut it off. And the only reason is there are some elevators in the windmills. There are elevators at the power plant. Um, I don't really use them that much, if at all. And the issue is with any movable object, if it gets stuck, uh, if it glitches into something, it can cause huge uh, FPS issues. So I'll just shut that off. I really want default forest fires. I, was, I ha thought I had this on before, and I think I did, but I was not getting forest fires. And so I really want forest fires. I do not want any other natural disasters. Default landmarks stay on. Default mission zones stay on. Now, this is the one that hangs up a lot of people default mission locations okay and this goes along with natural disasters so for example a lot of people will click off natural disasters and think up oh, I'm not gonna get any natural disasters that's not the case if you come up here to default mission locations and you have a cog click on the cog you'll notice you get mission frequency how often so that's an hour uh, between missions which again you can sleep in a bed and accelerate that Mission base time, 60 minutes. Now look at here. You have natural disasters checked. Okay. Uncheck that. Now you don't get natural disasters. Okay. So you also have to do that to get rid of natural disasters. Because these give you your default mission natural disasters. All right. So default mission transport locations. That's like transport two engineers and a cargo box up to the windmills. Keeping that on. Default mission zones arid. That's staying on, so that's the new area. Default natural disasters. I shut it off, um, so we shouldn't get sirens anyways. Um, you can do a slider here. You can change your time. You can also go in the XML, and you can edit this, but I'm going to shut natural disasters off. The only disaster I want is forest fires. Um, I like the concept, but I don't necessarily like the execution. Um, I don't want a tsunami coming through and destroying everything I'm doing. And plus, I'm in a creative game with permadeath. Um, I don't, you know, I don't just let myself die, but I will, um, you know, I will pretty much kill that that save, that gameplay session. So if I die, I roll back the save, 
and so I've lost all my progress. So it's kind of a uh, gives me some uh, stakes and and a reason to not die. I'm going to leave the default railroad signals on. I haven't found a pack that I prefer more than the default ones at the moment, so I'm going to leave that on. Default resource storage, trading, uh, Sawyer mission zones, tutorial comes off. I have no need for the tutorial. Underwater mission zones are staying on. Weapons DLC AI, that's going to go off, and then also click the cog. So if you were to leave this on, you could change AI production time, island count, planes, helis, initial spawn count, capture. So let's say you have weapons DLC on, which I'm going to have to redo my weapons, uh, my Stormers Warzone save as well. Um, one thing I'm probably going to do is reduce the counter for uh, the AI just because I think um, there are a little bit too, too, mu too many of them in one area and it's causing a slowdown for me. So again, that's where you could change that. But again, if it has a cog, it's good to click on that. All right, so that is all set, I think. So we have that all set up the way I want it. 